where are you, Kenny, on the on that question of how much business Rangers have done uh, and how much more they you think they need to do? Well, I think the, the signing of Davis, if it does get completed, mm. uh, was a, an area that I did think they, they definitely needed at least cover. If not, someone that could come in as a starter. Holander's mm. obviously injured again. Suter has got his injury prone record, albeit he's had a fantastic season, but ended up with with, with an injury. Uh, it remains to be seen again if he's if he's going to be fit for the start of the season or fully fit for the start of the season. So it was an area I definitely think they needed at least cover. I think Davis is coming in at probably a level of transfer fee they'll be wanting to start. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure he'll be wanting to nail that starting slot alongside Conor Goldson. In relation to how much different will that starting lineup look? I, I'd be interested to see Craig's thoughts on it as well, mm-hmm. because I still think when you look at, for me, I think Tom Lawrence is a starter because they need a player who plays either off the striker or off the right hand side, where Joe Rebo, Scott Arfield, Fashion Sakala, Hadji, these types of guys have played there. Scott Wright. Scotty Wright as well. There is so many players that have been tried out in that position. I mean, Joe Rebo probably been the main one, but as we discussed on a few occasions, Joe's more of an attacking midfielder. Maybe that's why he's left. You know, maybe he wants to look at playing a position that maybe suits him more, albeit Rangers have got really good money for him. And they've now signed two, three guys that can come in and probably take that slot as well. So it's, uh, I think Lawrence for me is a start because I think he'll add goals. And I think within that front line, a Rangers team, there needs to be more goals. 